Hello and welcome to the 39th day of our 40 Days of the Cross video series. Each day we're taking just a few minutes to look at a word which will help us to better understand the meaning of the cross. Today's word is good. Today's Good Friday. Perhaps you've wondered why we call it good. I mean, after all, some of the words we've used to describe the cross on our journey thus far have been judgment, rejected, agony, curse, and death. I certainly remember as a young Christian wondering how we could call the horrific death of our Savior good. We are commemorating a day, of an oblique, dark day, and yet for hundreds of years Christians have called this day good. It's a bit of a paradox. Some places I know are different. In Germany the day is called Karfreitag, which translates to Sorrowful Friday. And it is a day that includes sorrow. We feel sorrow when someone we love is hurt. Certainly what Jesus went through on the cross should cause sorrow. And if you attend today's Good Friday service at Riverside, you'll see that it's not a typical upbeat gathering that we have at our church. It's a somber and quiet reflective time where we, re where we remember the suffering of Jesus. Our very act of communion contains symbols of a broken body and shed blood. And yet we call this day of remembrance good. We call the cross the instrument used to ex execute our sinless Messiah good. But the goodness of the cross is a reality. It was good for us. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross provided a way for us to receive a new righteous life. 1 Peter 2.24 says that he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. The way to God was denied to us by our sinfulness. So Jesus took those sins in his own flesh on the cross. And because of this, we can be dead to sin and receive a life of righteousness. Not our own righteousness, mind you, but the perfect righteousness of Jesus through the shedding of his blood. Yes, the cross is good for us. And despite its cost, the cross is good to God. It reestablished his relation to us. And that brings him joy. The cross allowed God to reveal himself to us. We'll talk a little bit more about Revelation tomorrow. After we pray today, I encourage you to take a few minutes to meditate on why the cross is good. Father God, although this day is somber and heavy, it's also good. The weight of your grace and compassion makes it good to us. Help us today to remember well and apply your goodness to our lives. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thanks for listening today. Please take some time to think about the goodness of the cross. And I invite you to tonight's Good Friday service at Riverside if you're in the area, especially if you've been on this journey together with us.